Saludos, and welcome to Moments of a Black Queen. I am your host, Lady Lalabella, and this special show episode is brought to you by To Be Caribbean. Make sure you check us out on all of our social networks and media. We'll have a lot more Caribbean news and ways to connect with the culture online. As I stated, I'm Leanne Fairweather, also known as the Black Queen of Reggae. My name is Lady Lalabella Online, and I speak five languages. I want to share a little bit more with you about the Caribbean culture and why I'm here today. I was born here in Atlanta, Georgia, right inside of Stone Mountain, West Indian City, USA. I love to be able to share my culture with people who are interested in island living, as well as want to know more about languages from around the world. I've had the opportunity to go to Jamaica and pay patronage to the many artists that have brought music, reggae music in particular, to the world. Let's start by talking a little bit about Reggae Month that's coming up in February. Bob Marley was one of the most proficient and well-known artists in reggae. He brought reggae music to the world with The Wailers and Marcia Griffiths, as well as many other rock steady artists of the, of the era. They will be paying homage to him and many more artists for Reggae Month in Jamaica. So make sure you stay tuned for those kind of events that will be happening in the islands. Talking about the wonderful Mr. Bob Marley, Results are in and Fabian, you are not a Marley. We found out that Fabian Marley is not an official Marley. After the DNA test came back, Fabian was not too happy to find out about that information, but he's been handling it pretty well and will still be paying homage to his posthumous father. Rihanna in other news, the Bayesian queen has finally put out her album, Auntie. She put it out under the rock label and actually gave a free code away to her Navy group of followers. Now, Rihanna has been known to do a lot of controversial things, so giving out a free album under a Samsung deal is no surprise. The Diamond in the Sky singer is doing great things and has put out her recent release with Drake called Work. Make sure you stay tuned for that great jam. Usain Bolt has just recently done an interview for Profile on Jamaican television. He outlined some of the great events that he's been able to travel to and compete in around the world, as well as his upbringing in the Jamaican household. He definitely outlines the kind of elements that we all should think about when we are raising our kids, when we're competing around the world or traveling, and definitely when we are thinking about what we want to do as far as a career. Throughout his training, he's done some great things, and brands definitely recognize his, his ability to sell himself as a brand and as an athlete. Now, Usain Bolt was able to make $25 million last year alone with all of his endorsements. He's done great things for Jamaica as well as for the world and represents people very well with his athleticism. A little bit more about the Spanish language. I speak five languages, English, Spanish, Portuguese, French, and Patois. Done. I like to be able to share these languages with people because in 2016, I believe everyone should be able to speak a second language. Stay tuned while I share a little bit more with you about language, Portuguese, and why I decided to learn so many languages. Ready to roll. me by my name. I am ready to roll. Once the rules remain the same, now the story's been told. 